I've got a pump on the blade. Pump okay, my blade. watch shows that it's two o'clock, and so I'm going to call this meeting to order. This is a meeting of the Board of Trustees of Weatherford College. Today is Thursday, September 10th, 2020. It is 2 p.m. We're in the Alleen Strain community, community room of the Daw Student Center. We're located at 225 College Park Drive, Weatherford, Parker County, Texas, to consider and act on the posted agenda, which you all have in front of you. <clears throat> First item on the agenda is call to order. Next, we will ask Mr. Baker to give us the invitation. Please bow with me. Lord, we are thankful for new beginnings, thankful for a new semester, thankful for our two new board members. Thankful for all the students you've brought to us this semester. We pray that we will be able to help these students improve their lives. Thank you for our board members, and please be with them as they deliberate. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's stand and I'll lead us in the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <clears throat> Second item on the agenda is public comment for individuals not on the agenda. Ms. Worley, do we have anyone signed up at this time? Yes, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Number three on the agenda is the President's report. President Farmer. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman and members of the Weatherford College Board of Trustees, I would like to give a few brief recognitions employee notices and an enrollment update. Recognitions. Brent Baker, Crystal Worley, and team have created a COVID-19 dashboard that is now live on the WC webpage. We continue to try to be both as safe and as transparent as possible during these challenging times. Congratulations are in order to Weatherford College Student Support Services Director Kim Hutton and the entire SSS team for being awarded a five-year federal grant in the amount of $294,722 per year through August of 2025. Our WC Student Support Services program continues to meet or exceed program goals. Under the leadership of Weatherford College Foundation President Bob Glenn, the foundation awarded a record number of student scholarships this year. Over $336,000 in scholarships have been awarded thus far, representing over a 15% year-to-date increase in awarded scholarships. Weatherford College was recently ranked as the second safest college or university in the state of Texas. Congratulations to the WC Police Department, our faculty, staff, students, and all of our educational stakeholders. Congratulations are in order to Dean Kathy Boswell, Dr. Arlene Atkins, one of our new board members, Dave Cowley, and the Parker County Hospital District on establishing our new telemedicine program in the Coyote Clinic. This new partnership will dramatically enhance the healthcare opportunities of WC students, faculty, and staff. And finally, Congratulations are in order to Dr. Janine Irby and Colonel Thomas McKenzie on being named as Weatherford College Distinguished Alumni during the recent Alumni Awards Ceremony. We are very proud of both of them and of their efforts to make this world an even better place. Employee Notices. DMAC Local requires the college president to provide the names of contract employees that have resigned since the last board meeting. Hayden Harbalt has resigned the coordinator of workforce programs effective 9-14-2020. Susan Stone has retired, a counselor in the talent search program effective 10-2-2020. And John Wyatt has resigned as a campus police patrol officer effective 8-21-2020. We thank Hayden, Susan, and John for their service and wish them the very best in future endeavors. Enrollment update. The official enrollment for the fall 2020 semester was 5,467 students. This represents a 7% decrease in enrollment, but a 3% increase in state contact hour funding. As a reminder, WC saw a 20% increase in state contact hour funding during the 2020 summer semester. 
Due to highly effective enrollment management techniques, we continue to experience significant gains in state contact hour funding during account year. Mr. Chairman, this concludes the President's report. Thank you, Dr. Farmer. Are there any questions or comments for Dr. Farmer on any of those uh, matters on that agenda item? If not, we'll move to the next item, which is number four, consent agenda financial reports. Uh, those four items listed under there are approval of the minutes from August, September, financial reports ending August 31, 2020, quarterly investment report, disposal of obsolete surplus items through e-waste, e -waste, recycling online auction. Are there any questions or uh, uh, comments about any of those items before I ask for a motion? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve number four on the consent agenda and financial reports? A so moved. Is there a second? Second. Motion second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, that passes unanimously. Thank you. Move to number five on the agenda, reports. Mr. Smith, I'm going to defer to, uh, to Dr. Farmer to tell me who needs to give those reports. I'm not going to try to undertake guided pathways update or demand study update. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think that's an error there, that name. Uh, basically, Mr. Indy has provided uh, written reports for those two programs as we've done over the last several months uh, and is available for follow-up questions uh, should you have any questions uh, after reviewing that material. Anything else on that? No, sir. What about the same same story uh, the board has been provided written information on the demand study update and uh, again if you have any questions after having uh, read that demand study update mr. Indy will be glad to uh, answer those himself or point us in the right direction and get you the appropriate responses to your question any questions or comments on number five a B if not uh, there's no action item uh, involved so we'll move to number six Future agenda items or meetings, Dr. Farmer. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, next month, we'll, we will be bringing to you the legal access and affordability report. So you can look forward to that in October. Anything else under six? No, That's sir. Fine. Move to number seven, announcements. Mr. Baker. Yes, sir. A couple of items to tell you about. The 20th annual Weatherford College Foundation Golf Tournament is coming up on October the 1st at Canyon West. We are limiting the tournament to the first 30 teams this year and to encourage pace of play. So let me know if you'd like to be involved in that. We'd love to have you out there. And then, of course, October the 9th, two important events that day. Our presidential luncheon will be held at noon that day in the Alkex Center. And then right after that, at 1.30, we will have our groundbreaking for the new workforce and emerging technologies building. We'd love to have all of you there for that event, and we'll give more details in the near future. Anything else, Mr. Becker? No, sir. Any questions or comments on number seven? We'll move to number eight. At this time, we will I'll ask uh, that we close this session and uh, go out of open session and reassemble uh, under item number eight, which is our closed session, in about three minutes. And we've got those three items listed that are uh, subject to uh, being dealt with in the closed session A, B, and C, and I'm not going to repeat those since those have been pro posted properly. This time we will uh, adjourn and go into our closed session. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, the time is now 3.40, and uh, I'll call the open session back into order, and we will proceed with Agenda item number nine, consideration possible action of real property. There are no items or no uh, details that we need to consider or take possible action on that. So we will now move to number 10 on the agenda, consideration possible action involving appointment, employment, evaluation, reassignment, duties, discipline, dismissal of a public officer or employee. Once again, there are no uh, considerations or possible actions to take there, so we will now 
Move to number 11. Is there a motion to adjourn? I so move. There a second? Second. Motion second. I'll say aye. That uh, aye. agrees. Aye. 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 That's unanimous from what I just heard. Believe it or not, we adjourn. <laughs> Thank you.